be sure to cook. Welcome back to another episode of Be Sure to Cook. Today, I'm preparing a beef sirloin tip roast. So let's do this and let's get started. All right, so what I did is I took my beef sirloin tip, it's big, and I'm patting it dry with paper towels. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some olive oil and about a tablespoon, cause this is a big chuck roast, and I'm going to pour it all over and I'm just gonna massage my olive oil on one side after I dried it off with some clean paper towels at the eye. Okay, then I'm gonna sprinkle meat tenderizer a little bit all over that and then I'm gonna massage this in. Oh, and this is the good stuff. And I'm gonna do the same with the back, you know, just sprinkle it on. Oh. We've done that. Now we're gonna add some garlic powder, just a little of that on there. Just a little, just to give it a little flavor. But you can put any seasons you want on there. You know, your favorite seasons, just sprinkle whatever you want on your, your roast or whatever you like. And then I'm gonna do some black pepper. I'm gonna repeat this with black pepper, a little bit of rosemary and some regular sea salt. So let's do this rosemary. I just want a little rosemary, just a tiny bit. Rosemary is really good. So I got a little salt here and it's, it's sea salt. And I just wanna add just a little sea salt. You know, sprinkle a little bit on there. Pepper. Now, on a roast like this, uh, you're supposed to use, you know, cracked black pepper. I mean, you can use the crushed kind, but the black cracked pepper really brings it out. And you want to put a generous amount on there and rub that in. Okay. This is my pan that I have already rinsed and washed, made sure it was cooked nice and clean. This is a rack that goes into this. Now this is seasoned. What I'm gonna do, I know if you all don't know if you all have one of these, but I have a meat thermometer. And it tells you uh, exactly when to cook it. If you want it rare, I know you can't see it probably. If you want it rare, medium, or well. So what you wanna do is you wanna stick this all the way down. Make sure you clean this. The refrigerator and you wanna marinate this roast beef for at least 12 hours, 12, or you can leave it over there overnight when you get ready to cook, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some Reynolds wrap over this. Okay, so now I've got a sheet of aluminum foil that I'm gonna take my pan, and I am going to surround my pan with the aluminum foil. Okay guys, I'm showing you how to prepare a sirloin tip roast marinated for at least 12 to 24 hours the day before you make it. Let it set and marinate with any seasons you want or use the seasons that I uh, prefer to use. And then pop this baby in the oven at 325 to 375. It depends on your oven. Really watch it. At least let it cook for at least maybe an hour. And you want to keep watching that and making sure that's done. Let it cool for 15 to 20 minutes before cutting and serving. And once you cut and serve it, it's delicious. Hey, love you all guys. See you next time. Bye.